In the words of Steve Jobs, innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. This quote sets the stage for the remarkable life of a man whose vision and relentless pursuit of innovation changed the world as we know it. Born in 1955, Steve Jobs' journey began in San Francisco, California. His biological parents, unable to care for him, made the heart-wrenching decision to put him up for adoption. He was then adopted by Paul and Clara Jobs, who nurtured his curiosity and intelligence. Steve's early interest in electronics was fostered by his father Paul, a mechanic and a craftsman, who introduced him to the wonders of machines and technology. This early exposure sparked in Steve a lifelong passion for technology and design. During his high school years, Steve Jobs was far from an average student. He was more interested in exploring his interests outside the classroom than conventional education. This non-conformist attitude led him to Reed College, a liberal arts school in Portland, Oregon. But the traditional education system still didn't resonate with him, and he dropped out after just six months. However, this wasn't a step backward for Steve, instead it was a leap forward. He began auditing classes that genuinely interested him like calligraphy, which later played a crucial role in Apple's emphasis on design aesthetics. In 1973, Steve embarked on a spiritual journey to India that greatly influenced his life and work. He sought enlightenment, practiced meditation, and embraced Buddhism. This spiritual journey shaped his minimalist philosophy and design aesthetics, which became a hallmark of Apple products. The early chapters of Steve Jobs' life story are filled with unconventional choices and a relentless pursuit of knowledge and enlightenment. It was these formative experiences that cultivated his unique vision and innovative spirit. From a young age, Jobs was destined to carve a path that would change technology forever. His journey serves as a powerful testament to his belief that, Innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. The year was 1976 and Steve Jobs along with Steve Wozniak and Ronald Wayne started Apple in a garage. In the heart of Silicon Valley, California, amidst a clutter of wires, circuit boards and the unmistakable scent of innovation, an idea was being nurtured, an idea that would change the world as we knew it. This was the birthplace of Apple's first product, the Apple One. It was a machine that was as unconventional as its creators, a computer that you could assemble yourself. The Apple Y was a testament to the genius of Wozniak and the innovative vision of Jobs. However, the Apple I was merely a stepping stone. Jobs had a grander vision. He wasn't just looking to create a new product. He was aiming to revolutionize personal computing. And so came the introduction of the Apple II in 1977. The Apple II was more than just an upgrade. It was a revolution in a beige plastic box. It was the first consumer product sold by Apple Inc. And it was a major success. Unlike its predecessor, the Apple II was a ready-to-use computer. It had a color display, a first for personal computers, and it came with two game paddles right out of the box. It was friendly, it was inviting, and it was an instant hit. The Apple II wasn't just a computer, it was a statement. A statement that computers were not just for corporations or the government but for everyone. Jobs' vision for personal computing was beginning to take shape. He saw a world where every home would have a computer, where technology would be accessible, and where computing would be personal. The Apple II was the embodiment of this vision. It wasn't just a machine, it was the future. With the Apple II, Apple Inc. had not just put itself on the map, but it had redrawn the map entirely. This was the birth of the personal computer era. With the Apple II, the world was introduced to the future of personal computing. Even the brightest stars experienced downfall. In 1985, Steve Jobs was ousted from Apple. This was a time when the very company he had co-founded turned against him. The boardroom was filled with tension, a power struggle was brewing, and at the center of it all was Jobs. The board's decision to remove him from his post was a shock, not just to Jobs, but to the world. But as we know, the story doesn't end here. Jobs, resilient as ever, didn't let this setback deter him. Instead, he channeled his energy and creativity into a new venture, Next Inc. This was a computer platform development company, born from the ashes of Jobs' departure from Apple. Next Inc. was a testament to his unwavering commitment to innovation and his belief in the power of technology to transform the world. Though a setback, this period was a stepping stone for greater things to come. In a twist of fate, Apple acquired Next in 1997, marking the return of Jobs to Apple. This marked a turning point in the history of the tech giant, as well as the tech industry as a whole. With Jobs back at the helm, Apple was set for a period of unprecedented growth and innovation. 
Steve Jobs was not just returning to the company he co-founded, he was coming back with a mission, to save Apple from the brink of bankruptcy and restore it to its former glory. And he did just that but not without shaking things up. His first move? Introducing a computer that defied traditional norms. The iMac, with its unique design and user-friendly interface, was not just a computer. It was a statement that Apple was back, with a vengeance. But Jobs didn't stop at the iMac. He had a vision for a world where technology wasn't just functional, but also beautifully designed and user-friendly. This vision led to the introduction of the iPod in 2001. The iPod wasn't just a music player, it was a revolution in the way we consumed music. It was the embodiment of Jobs' belief that technology should fit seamlessly into our lives. When the iPhone was launched in 2007, it was nothing short of a revolution. It wasn't just a phone. It was a mini-computer, a camera, a music player, and so much more, all in one sleek device. It changed the game for mobile phones and set the standard for what a smartphone should be. Then came the iPad in 2010. The iPad wasn't just a bigger iPhone, it was a powerful device that bridged the gap between smartphones and laptops. It was a testament to Jobs' belief in the power of simplicity. Under Jobs' leadership, Apple had not just survived, it revolutionized the tech industry. Jobs' return to Apple wasn't just a comeback, it was a revolution. A revolution that saw Apple rise from the ashes to become one of the most valuable and influential companies in the world. Despite his passing in 2011, Steve Jobs' vision continues to shape the tech industry. His legacy is a testament to the power of innovation, leadership, and unyielding determination. Jobs' influence extends far beyond the boundaries of Apple Inc., permeating every corner of our digital culture. Steve Jobs was not just a leader, he was a visionary. His ability to see potential where others saw impossibility was one of his key strengths. It was this forward-thinking approach that led to the creation of groundbreaking products like the iPhone, iPad, and iPod. These aren't just devices, they're tools that have transformed the way we live, work, and play. Jobs' impact on the tech industry is immeasurable. His insistence on user-friendly design and seamless functionality set a new standard. He pushed the boundaries of what was possible, challenging his team to go beyond the conventional, to create products that didn't just satisfy a need but sparked joy and excitement. And it wasn't just about the products. Jobs' leadership style was distinct. He led with passion and intensity, inspiring his team to strive for perfection. His unwavering commitment to his vision was infectious, motivating those around him to deliver their best. Beyond Apple, Jobs' influence on modern digital culture is undeniable. He was a pioneer in making technology accessible and enjoyable for everyone. His products have become a part of our daily lives, shaping the way we communicate, learn, entertain, and even think. Even after his death, Apple's continued success stands as a testament to Jobs' vision. The company has consistently stayed at the forefront of innovation, carrying forward the legacy left by its co-founder. Apple remains a beacon of creativity and innovation, embodying the spirit of Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs once said, The people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. And he certainly did. His legacy is a testament to the power of thinking differently, of daring to dream, and of having the courage to follow through. His vision continues to shape the tech industry, reminding us that innovation is not just about creating new things, but about making life better for everyone.